concerts and festivals. There are plenty of new activities to do down by Buffalo's waterfront, but one attraction has been drawing visitors here for more than 40 years. Buffalo Harbor Cruises launched along the Erie Basin Marina in 1971 with the original Miss Buffalo boat. As appreciation for the waterways of western New York grew, so did the company. The Miss Buffalo 2 was added in 1981 and remains a popular destination for memorable social gatherings and happy hours. But it's not just a party boat. You can take a two-hour narrated sightseeing tour during the day. We caught up with tour guide Jeff Medowski before a recent voyage to learn why they're educational and entertaining for all ages. Jeff, this is your third year on the water here at Miss Buffalo. What is your typical tour like? Well, it's, uh, it's a two-hour tour, and uh, there's a lot of sites that I'm pointing out along the way. There's about 40 different things that we discuss uh, along the length of the tour, so constant talking. I look forward to little breaks. We take a break at the locks, which lasts about 10 minutes or so, so it gives me an opportunity to get, grab a drink and stretch the legs a little bit. And tell us about the locks. We heard that's one of the most fascinating parts of the tour. Yeah, it's... Uh, Everybody always asks, well, what's the point of the lock? So the lock basically acts as a water elevator for the boat. So when we're traveling down the Niagara River, we lose a little bit of elevation. So in order to enter the canal, we need to regain the elevation that we've lost. So that's what the, that's what the lock does. What else will people learn as they're sailing along Miss Buffalo? A lot of Buffalo history, a bunch of different sites have to do with the War of 1812, which Buffalo is, um, has a lot of different issues with, with the historical aspect of the war. Um, the fort right across the river, Fort Erie, was a big part of that. And then there were various battles that happened in the water as well. And you yourself, you're a history teacher, so that must really play a great uh, role in your role here as well. Yeah, definitely. It motivates me to learn a little bit more and do some extra research and point out some sites that people may not have known about. And the Miss Buffalo welcomes people from all over the world, but why do you think it's important for Western New Yorkers to get out and learn a little bit about the history of our region? Well, just because there is so much interesting history to talk about. You know, before I took this job, I, I didn't really know a whole lot about it, so it just motivates you to get out there and learn a little bit more about how Buffalo was founded and the different things that it offers. All right, thanks so much, Jeff. Smooth sailing. You know, it's just an interesting place to visit because we're seeing all this development on the waterfront, all of these new things to do there, but they have been there and offering these cruises for generations and generations. So it's really reshaped what you'll see when you're on one of those harbor cruises. So buffaloharborcruises.com if you want to book yours today. I have to say, anytime we go out to Canal Side, I just love those shots that they mm -hmm. have down by the harbor. Just a beautiful place to be when the weather is beautiful outside. Even on a windy day like we visited, and it can still go out in rough waters and winds like that. So they sh you should be just, just fine if it's a windy day like it was for us. Let's toss things out to Emily Lenahan.